Now we're going to create our MarkLogic data hub. You can follow along at home. Just make sure you have MarkLogic server installed. You've downloaded the MarkLogic data hub quick start. You have the Oracle Java 8 runtime environment. You've got a browser. We recommend Chrome or Firefox when using the quick start interface. And you can download the sample data and code that I'm going to be walking you through related to this specific project from the MarkLogic University GitHub site as well. So right now we're looking at my machine, which is a Mac operating system, but you can follow along on any of the supporting operating systems that MarkLogic runs on, and the instructions and steps are relatively similar. So the first thing that you'll notice is that I have a folder on my desktop called Developer Start. And in that folder, we find the code, the data, and that is all coming from the MarkLogic University GitHub site and the project for this example. You'll also see that in this Developer Start folder, I created a folder called Hub, and that's where I have downloaded and placed the quickstart.war file. Now, you may be using a more recent version of the Quick Start, and that's perfectly okay. The instructions should be very similar. So what we now need to do is run this quickstart.war file using Java. And in order to do that, we're going to use a terminal window, or for those of you on Windows, a command line prompt. And we're going to have to navigate into the location where you have placed that quickstart.war file. So for me, I navigated into my desktop in that folder called Developer Start and into that folder called Hub. And to run the Quick Start, I'm going to type in Java space dash jar space and then the name of that Quick Start dot war file name. Now, I don't like to type because I tend to make typographical errors. So a little trick to save yourself that effort is to just start typing the file name. For example, if I type the character Q, then I can take advantage of autocomplete. And if I just hit the tab key, that should automatically fill in the rest of that file name. To run it, let's go ahead and hit enter. And once the Data Hub framework is up and running, you should see a message on your terminal window that's prompting you to open your browser and go to localhost colon 8080. This is the Quick Start user interface. We're going to leave this terminal window up because that means the Data Hub framework is running and we need it to be running in order to use the Quick Start. So go ahead and open up a browser and let's navigate out to localhost colon 8080. And here we see our Quick Start user interface. All right, so we're going to create our first hub using this Data Hub Quick Start. And we can see that by default, we are placed into the directory from where we are running the Quick Start file. And for us, that's perfectly acceptable. That's exactly where we want our hub to be created. And that's where some files are going to get created when we initialize our hub. So let's go ahead and click Next to start that process. The Quick Start senses that there is no hub in this location, and so it wants to initialize a new one. And it's smart enough to set some defaults for us, so we don't have to go in and manage a lot of these settings. So for our purposes here in this first example, we will accept the defaults and simply click Initialize. Once our project has been initialized, that then has created some of the, the foundation of that hub in that directory, and we can go ahead and go to the next step. So click Next. Now we're being prompted to choose our environment, and we only have one option available to us. We are running locally. That is indicative of our development environment. In an enterprise implementation, you might have your local environment for development, you might have a test environment, a production environment, and depending on your configuration, you might be able to choose between those different environments here. We're going to go ahead and click Next. In order to do anything in MarkLogic, you need to have appropriate permissions to be able to do those actions. So you have to authenticate in order to proceed. We're going to authenticate using the admin user that we created earlier when we installed and initialized MarkLogic. 
Please note that you do not have to be a MarkLogic admin user in order to use the Data Hub Quick Start. And as you progress throughout your developer learning track and you learn more about how MarkLogic works by taking courses like MarkLogic Fundamentals and MarkLogic Security and the MarkLogic Data Hub course, you're going to learn how to implement a more locked down security model that is more relevant for real world projects. But for now, let's go ahead and authenticate as our only user that we know of right now, and that is our admin user. Once we're authenticated, we're going to see that installation is needed because this is a brand new hub and none of the resources associated with this hub currently exist on our MarkLogic instance. So this is an automated process. We simply need to click install and then all of the necessary resources for our MarkLogic data hub will be set up for us. And once the installation is complete, we'll get the thumbs up and we can go ahead and click on finished. So congratulations, we've completed the setup of our first MarkLogic data hub. Come with me and in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can ingest data using the MarkLogic data hub.